thank you so much. And I just want to express my thanks, especially to everyone at TJC and on the board. They made it so, so easy to um, do everything. I mean, Michelle really runs the show. It's very easy to support her. Um, thank you for my Belmont family for supporting me in these endeavors and also to my husband and my kids. Thanks. To receive this from the goat himself is really a true honor, so thank you very much. So I'm honored to welcome Mr. Charles Key to the stage, if he can come on up. Charles is a man who taught me that sometimes what you need is not a legal theory or a theory of change or strategic direction to relieve the despair that so many in our community face. But what you, all you need is a superhero with a spray can, a love of history, and a determination to turn darkness into hope-filled, radiant color. Charles has created brilliant masterpieces all over this neighborhood. If you drive down the street tonight, you will find one after another masterpieces. Beautiful faces of heroes and change makers and pioneers that are a gift to our entire community. Charles is a force of love who spoils us with his ability to turn despair into hope. We had a community event and there was an unhoused woman who came up and said, I, I need a favor from you. And I imagined what she might ask. And then she said, what I want from you is I want you to make a documentary of Charles Key because what he's done for us what he's done for this neighborhood is a miracle. So this is our first installment of the documentary. Thank you for giving us hope. Thank you for telling us that building is ours. And thank you for making it someplace where we all feel proud to work. You have to admit I was more restrained than I could have you, been. You were. <laughs> yeah, he, he kept telling me payback was hell. <laughs> Um, thank you very much. I have a lot of friends here tonight, and, and I'm so happy that you all came to support GJC. Um, this building, and you all know the construction that's been going on in Nashville. This is the most beautiful building in Nashville, as far as I'm concerned. So, and thank you to Omari Booker for, and the YLD um, for getting this painting done on the side of the building. Thank you. Hello, um, my name is Crystal Harp, and you just saw um, our family story just now. Um, I'm so sorry. It's just it's a little hard to relive all of that again. Um, but TJC has been so important to us in getting Ava what she needs. TJC made sure that I would no longer face the worry of being able to afford her life-saving medication. Ava would never miss another therapy appointment. She would never miss another appointment with a specialist. <laughs> and she would always have her nurse who attends her at school daily. And we would never have to worry about losing her. They are able to do these things for children like Ava and families like ours through your generosity. <laughs> My wonderful spouse and I could not get Ava what she needed without them. And there are tens of thousands of families like ours who they help and save. Our budget is limited, but we reached out to our friends to ask them to help us give, invest in this amazing organization. Thanks to our community, we get to pledge $400 tonight, and I'm going to make that commitment right now in honor of my Ava. So, real quick. So we just texted it so it can pass up on the screen. And please make sure to donate so TJC can continue to do their wonderful work. I'm going to pass the mic off to three of TJC's board members who can walk you through the steps to give. And thank you so much for your generosity. The dynamic duo. It's a good thing Christy's not here because she's a lot more aggressive than we are when it comes to asking for donations. Oh, no, we'll see about that. Okay. We'll see you can be aggressive. Um, now comes the fun part of the evening. And, you know, I have to start by, first of all, introducing myself, and then I'll, Jeff, turn it over to you. I'm Sarah Gardial. I'm the Dean of the College of Business at Belmont University, and I am a proud, proud 
board member of the Tennessee Justice Center. It is my privilege and honor to be a part of the group of the community that comes together to support the incredible work that is being done by this organization. What about you? Um, yes, Jeff Gibson, I'm a board member as well. I'm an attorney in town and it's been my distinct pleasure and really some of the highlights of my career to be able to represent some of some individuals like those you saw on the video. Um, TJC just does incredible work um, and it's a pleasure to be a part of the organization and it's a pleasure to be here tonight with all of you. You know, I really do think that as a society, as a culture and as individuals, you know, we get to be judged by how we take care of the least of these among us. And what we're here talking about tonight is not a handout and it's not charity. It is about making sure that the most vulnerable people in Nashville and across the state of Tennessee, by the way, have access to the care, the nutrition, the health care that they rightfully deserve. And because of bureaucracy and because of complications of getting tossed off of rolls for um, you know, crazy reasons because the mail went to their former house instead of their current house, how do we help those people? How do we get them connected to the resources that are already there? Well, it takes a lot. It takes a village. It takes TJC and their staff, committed staff, to come together and say, we will get in the trenches with those folks and we will help connect them to the resources that are already there. Sarah is about to introduce the next part of our program, but I wanted to say something that I hope you'll think about um, while, while you're listening to some really beautiful music. For every one dollar that is donated to TJC, TJC is able to leverage, I believe it's 395, 395 dollars. Call it 400, Jeff. Just call it 400. Four, let's call it 400. We'll call it. But talk about an, uh, an incredible return on investment. For every one dollar donated, 400 dollars worth of services are provided to the most vulnerable Tennesseans. That's incredible. I can't think yes. of another place where your donations go that far. So. All right, so now is the point at which I get to read, which is a tough one, but here we go. So, while you consider your gift, let's welcome special guest singer-songwriter, Rosa Rodriguez. Rosa is originally from Honduras. Apart from doing music, she has also been featured in commercials, TV, and film. Rosa Rodriguez was nominated for Best Latin Female Singer in the Music City Latin Awards in 2023. She's accompanied by violinist Annalise Kurtz to play songs co-written by two Tennessee TJC Mothers of the Year. TJC is so grateful for Rosa and her work with non, our nonprofit partner, Intersection Nashville, and the Lullaby Project. Many of you know that every Mother's Day, TJC honors its most extraordinary clients by naming 10 to 15 of our TJC client mothers and caregivers of the year. We get volunteer photographers to take pictures of the family and do portraits telling their inspiring stories um, and we put that out on local paper and social media. And this year, thanks to Intersection and our partner, our Mothers of the Year, we're given the cherished gift, the chance to write a lullaby or an anthem for their family with a songwriter. Several clients work directly with Rosa and a team to write their loved ones a song. And tonight, Rosa will perform two of these songs, including Mama's Heart Song, co-written with Sabrina Day Ryder Harper, who joins us tonight from Hollenwald, Tennessee, and Nanny's Little Boy, co-written by Sharon Brady, who joins us from Newport, Tennessee. Thanks for all of you for being here and sharing your love and inspiration. And if you want to read more about their stories, please go to www.tjc. Ten, oh, TN Justice, TNJustice.org slash CMOTY. We hope you enjoy 
getting to hear these words. Thank you so much. That was Nanny's Little Baby by Rachel Rodriguez and Sharon Brady. That was a really special song. And thank you so much, TJC, for having us here. And uh, let's give it up for them for all the work they do. We appreciate it. We are part of the Lullaby Project in the intersection in Carnegie Hall. And so we're so glad to be here. This next song is called Mama's Heart Song. And I know Sabrina's here. So uh, this is, <laughs> give it up for Sabrina. Yeah, she, she's a, a poet. Sabrina's a poet. So we turn her poem into this next song. And it's called Mama's Heart Song. <laughs> It's where a symphony, a mama's love would guarantee her children live in harmony. An everlasting memory of cedar cabins and peaceful woods. Nothing there's misunderstood. A labyrinth of love, also true. A cavalry place in Hollywood. Mama's heart song. The shape of you, a labyrinth of love, oh so true, a lovely place in Hollywood, mama's heart song in the shape of you, a piece of mom that she can share with the world that needs unending care. No more. 
on violin. Thank all of you who have spent your evening here. Oh, oh, way! Hey! Hey! hey. Woohoo! All right. All right. Woo everybody, incredible. G give yourselves a round of applause. You are the best. You are making our jobs so much easier and in turn what TJC is bringing to this community. So from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for being here, for the support that you've lended us tonight, the continued support that may come. And please go spread the word about this organization and the magnificent things that they are making happen in this community for the citizens of this state who so, so need our help and support to navigate the difficulties of their life. Jeff, you want to close this out? I will close by saying that Sarah and I take no offense to the fact that the last $2,000 were raised to, to shut us up. <laughs> we, we, we are fine. Um, I can talk a long time. <laughs> I, yeah. I want to I say, I want to repeat two things. One is, this doesn't have to stop tonight. Please Absolutely. continue additional ways you can, you can give, you can volunteer, uh, you can support this great mission. And then the second thing I'll say is, please come see the new space. It is so incredible. Um, Michelle and her team would love to have you. Um, we welcome you anytime. So thank you all so very much. Have a good evening. Thank you from TJC.